This is my 21st year in Ohio County, and I was in Ohio for 18 years before coming to Kentucky. And I, I call it my home, and I, I live in Beaverdale. And uh, being uh, part of the medical establishment, and as the general surgeon, and also the chief medical officer, I see firsthand the consequence of uh, lack of good health. So I've been uh, involved with the Family Wellness Center for many years. And uh, currently I'm the chairman of the board of the Family Wellness Center. We have currently 12 members. And the Family Wellness Center uh, was uh, actually conceived in principle by Dr. Robert Johnson. You know, they would uh, did them know him rather very well. And uh, in 2002, they opened the doors to provide uh, the holistic approach to wellness and fitness in the community. So currently, we have about 3,500 members. And that's significant uh, because our uh, countywide population is only 23,000. So we've been able to attract uh, as many members uh, and provide uh, state-of-the-art uh, uh, facility for them. It's not been uh, a smooth sailing, but uh, I'm proud to report that uh, uh, last year, uh, thanks to the announcement, we were able to receive $100,000 to uh, replace, upgrade, and uh, uh, bring in new equipment and provide new services. And uh, recently, we uh, made it uh, uh, accessible 24-7. That's well received among the community. And uh, one of the main things uh, I got involved, one of the main reasons I got involved with this is uh, uh, because of uh, the grad health report we receive every five years. And uh, thanks to Jitem, I was able to keep, uh, at least to receive updated information on our status, uh, countywide health status compared to uh, other district in grad and also statewide you know, comparison and uh, national comparison was available to me on a regular basis. And uh, it, it was uh, really uh, troubling, to say the least, uh, to see that kind of uh, poor health in the community. And uh, uh, by having the Family Wellness Center in Ohio County has been really, really uh, instrumental in at least turning the turning it around, and uh, thousands of people have gone through the wellness center to improve their health, remain fit, and uh, with the constant uh, support from Ohio County Hospital, they have been able to have uh, frequent uh, events to uh, bring in more people into this health conscious uh, uh, narrative. So. Uh, our goal is to, uh, there is a long-term date for that, and we're working on uh, trying solutions, finding solutions for it. But our, our goal is to basically improve the overall health of the community by uh, working with the local industries and the businesses and involve their employees and uh, members in uh, prevention and wellness uh, programs. Uh, it will be a, a plus plus one. Uh, it will help uh, people remain healthy. But at the same time, it will also cut down the uh, health care costs to the local industries. So I'm in, a, in, a, in a, a fortunate position to be able to work with the hospital, wellness center, and the fiscal court and the chamber and uh, all the organizations in the county to kind of to, you know, keep everybody in the loop and uh, inform them of our plans and how we can help uh, local businesses grow and keep their workforce healthy. And uh, another uh, uh, significant advantage of having a wellness center has been to recruit new talent. Uh, of all the providers we have recruited over the years, uh, at least three providers chose to come to Ohio County because we have the Family Wellness Center. Uh, I, I don't have the data or numbers to 
tell you how many new business have come here because of it, but uh, it's just a common sense thing that when you're trying to recruit new, new business to the area, they are looking at all the assets and family wellness that has been a tremendous asset to the company. So I, I would like to continue participating in all these activities to you know, help the Ohio County population to stay healthy and uh, uh, reap the benefits uh, from uh, good health. Uh, one of the things I am uh, working on is to, especially with Mr. Piper, uh, the CEO of the hospital, is no matter what kind of health care reform that's going to come come down the pipe, uh, we, we still have to focus our approach to taking care of the community by focusing on wellness and prevention. And uh, I, I think that commitment from the hospital is there, and that commitment uh, from fiscal court is there, and uh, I'd like to be uh, uh, able to work with them and make that happen.